The topic today is the Slug Shotgun Sojourner's Tale. You've probably been getting these shotguns whether you wanted it or not with this season, so there's some roles that I want you to look out for. There's some things that I want to talk about with it, some tips, some uses, and there's something very special about it, and it just might be up your alley. I've wanted to make this video for about a week. I had a funeral, I am moving, and actually a couple days ago my wife and I closed on our house. The final closing, it's ours. Then we move later this month, so thank you for your patience with my content. I've been very stressed, very busy. We also had the opportunity to sit down with some folks at Bungie last week to talk about the sandbox. That was with the DCP Firing Range podcast, and some of what we learned in that sit down is going to make what I want to discuss here today more in depth. This is a sleeper slug if I've ever seen one, and what's cool about a weapon like this is that you need to get it in your hands. I'm going to show you what it's doing for you, but you need to get it in your hands and use it. It's one of the best feeling weapons in the entire game when it's going full force, so as they're dropping, be on the lookout for certain rolls. It's a Solar 65 RPM precision frame, fires a single slug round. These slugs do have some high inherent base stats, like this one has 67 handling, it has 35 aim assist. There are two sets of slug shotguns. One half has high handling, low aim assist. The other half has high aim assist and low handling. This is of the high handling type. You get it from the seasonal activity override. You can focus it or you can roll the dice in the upper selections to get lucky. And that's honestly what I do. It gives me a chance at everything. And once I get lucky, I can then start focusing. As an energy slug, I do view this more as a PVP weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and slide into the perks here. For PVE, you could be looking for Frenzy, possibly Dragonfly or even Adrenaline Junkie, but the best in slot goes to first in last out and the bone chiller. First in last out for Vorpal Weapon, you see that a lot with Templar and other encounters, and Bone Chiller for the rare combination of Triple Tap and Demolitionist. And again, these are in that energy category. With Triple Tap, you can Triple Tap out your magazine, you can throw a grenade, bypass the reload, and then Triple Tap out another magazine. It's great. But these are very hard to get. So if you don't have a good PvE slug, definitely get this one. Look for Frenzy, add on a boss spec. Aside from that, I do view this as a PvP slug shotgun. You can do a number of things with them, and just to get it out of the way, Chaperone, Duality, they run the show as far as Slug Shotguns in the Crucible. They have the most durability, higher range in the Chaperone's case with Roadborne, but they do take an exotic slot. So maybe you want to run an exotic kinetic like Ace of Spades, Mida, Hawkmoon, whatever it is, you can have this Slug Shotgun there, or you can just use it just to switch things up. You use these for the range, and the base range usually hits the range cap. This one does, 10 to 12 meters. Exotics, again, a little bit more with Roadborne. 11.9 is that exact cap. You're going to outrange non-slug shotguns, you have to hit them in the head though. Use them for that range, but to me at least, slugs bring out any melee build that you have. They deal 147 to the body. They're not going to one-shot body shot, so you're using a slug as the engine to get the wheels turning on a melee build. They're the best. Maybe it's Sun Bracers to get that melee final blow for the solar grenades. And also, Warlocks have that little bit extended melee and go a little bit further, so it works out even better. You could pair it with Karnsteins, a number of different things. You could be Bottom Tree Striker with Knockout and Frontal Assault. When you break those shields, you get that increased melee lunge range. And when you hit with a charged melee, your weapon deals more damage, has better stability. Any melee build flows really well through a Slug Shotgun in the Crucible. I'm mostly going to be talking about tunnel vision here in a moment. There's a very cool interaction and a playstyle with it. And aside from those exotic slugs, there's some good ones like Blasphemer, which by the way, I have gotten 10 of them. And at some point, I just stopped doing the encounter because I couldn't get a good roll. I think some of us are like that. You just keep trying and trying and just kind of give up for a little bit. But tunnel vision is a very special thing. I'm going to get into it in a moment. But before I talk about that, I do want to go over the barrels and mags real quick. When you do look out for your barrel, slot out the best that you can. They do have a range cap. I do value fluted because of the plus 15 handling and then hammer forge that gives plus 10 range. Even though you're capped, you're still getting some small accuracy benefits. Be mindful, be careful of something like full bore. It's going to tank your already low handling stat. Your top two magazines are going to be assault mag and then accurized rounds. But here's where it gets really, really interesting. The perk set. There's a number of things that you can do. But I'm going to focus on just a couple combinations, and of course some of the tried and true ones work really, really well. Looking at the perks again, there are tried and true perks and combinations, and when you look in that first column, quick draw, though nerfed, still has a place. Moving target, strafe bonus, aim assist bonus, threat detector for that handling bump when enemies are close, but tunnel vision. It's a new perk this season, and it's on 12 weapons. This is the only shotgun with it, and it's amazing. Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. With these weapons, you get a kill. Like, let's take Fatebringer. This one has tunnel vision and opening shot. You're gonna get that kill, you're gonna do the reload animation, you're gonna come out of it and have the benefits of that perk. And we learned in the podcast that Tunnel Vision grants plus 20 aim assist, plus 20 accuracy, and also has a small multiplier for auto aim and magnetism on your cone angle. 
That's a great perk, that's a great bump. But what makes Sojourner so special is the fact that since it's a shotgun, it chambers in one at a time. You end up getting the fastest way possible to get that tunnel vision buff. Now the plus 20 accuracy, the accuracy stat is hidden. We don't know what the true accuracy stat is for any weapons aside from combat bows, but with what we do know, when you add accuracy to a weapon in the form of a perk like this one, Eye of the Storm granting accuracy, heating up, anything that states accuracy, it's stellar. It makes the weapon land clean. It feels great in your hand. So once this perk is active, it gets the aim assist stat to 55. It has a massive boost to the aim down sight speed. And remember, those two sides of a slug shotgun, one half has high handling, low aim assist, the other half low handling, high aim assist. This one starting off with a high handling, you can add on a targeting mod, a dexterity mod. And remember with targeting, it grants target acquisition, accuracy, and aim down sight speed. You can throw two of them on. So that's really, really good. And to pair with this perk in the other column, there's two to look at, killing wind and opening shot. All the background footage you've been seeing is with Killing Wind and Tunnel Vision. My role is Arrowhead Break. It's the best in slot that I had. Obviously not the best barrel. It does give a little bit for the handling stat. I have Tac Mag, Tunnel Vision, and Killing Wind. Killing Wind states final blows increase mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. This is the only weapon in Destiny 2 that can roll this perk combination, and these two perks together is nutty. Killing Wind is one of my favorite perks in Destiny 2, and we learned in the podcast that Killing Wind grants plus 20 mobility, a strafe move movement bonus that is faster than moving target is actually 30% faster than moving target. It grants a small range bump and this bump does go past the 11.9 meter range cap on these slugs and it gives a handling bonus. And handling is the speed in which it can be ready and aimed and that handling bump also helps with aim down side speed. So when you get a kill, killing wind is up, you chamber the round in immediately, you have tunnel vision and killing wind, then you go. You get all of those bonuses, mobility, stray speed, two perks that are giving accuracy, aim down sight speed, stowing, range, aim assist. You're fast and you're deadly with it. And again, it's the only weapon in Destiny 2 that pairs tunnel vision and killing wind. It is one of the best feeling weapons in the game when you're in full force and have these two perks up. All those benefits, the stickiness, all the accuracy, it helps even in air shots. I do have an Icarus mod on, but even without it, it's very, very on point. Everything added to it, everything stacking on it, you can feel it. And I started the video with that. It's something that you need to get in your hands. I'm going to talk all about what it does, but it's something that you have to try. And it's one of those things, it's not going to matter if you're on mouse and keyboard or controller. It's going to perform the same. It gives a lot of bonuses. And behind the scenes, I tell my friends all the time how much I love this shotgun because it's so special. The other perks, usually I'm always going to say that on a shotgun, opening shot is just a must have. Number one choice. Look out for it. And in the end, you should. Improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. If you land opening shot on your roll, definitely use it. Try it out. But when I looked at it and I played with this roll, and here are those perks again. With everything that these two perks give combined and granted, you do have to get a kill, chamber around and go. But you're gonna have the benefits of like threat detector, quick draw, moving target, and opening shot in some way. And to go further, in some ways, this tunnel vision killing wind combo is better than a flat out quick draw, or a moving target, or an opening shot. You get the best of everything, so look out for it, experience it, it's crazy good. The other combinations work great, obviously threat detector opening, moving target opening, but trust me, tunnel vision killing wind is on its own level. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. You can use the link down below in my code COOL at checkout for a discount. And Scuff has some things in store this summer, so be on the lookout for that. I want to hear your thoughts on this slug shotgun, and that goes for PvE and PvP. What's working for you in PvE? I was looking at it, and to me it's going to be Frenzy but maybe you guys came up with a really good build for it. For the Crucible, a lot of the rolls for the slug shotguns are accounted for. And by that, I mean a lot of them are rolling moving target opening shot or quick draw opening shot. You can get that in a lot of places. And again, the exotics do reign supreme, but it does take your exotic slot. If you do have one of these and are using it in the Crucible, what role do you have? And if you have used tunnel vision with it, especially tunnel vision with killing wind, and secondarily, tunnel vision opening shot. Talk about your experiences below. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.